What's up, guys, and welcome into the very first episode of Sunday Fun Days. We're going to be starting this series off right. We're playing Valkyria Chronicles. This is the remastered edition for the PS4. Now, I have never played this game. I have played Valkyria Chronicles 4 for the Switch, and that's it. That's all I've got. So this is gonna be definitely a new experience. Now, you heard me say this is gonna be Sunday Fun Days, but you probably have no idea what that is. So Sunday Fun Days is gonna be a time when we play games like Valkyria Chronicles, something other than Pokemon. Does that make sense? So cool. First up, we're gonna start a brand new game. And I am so excited. Let's see what's up. The I love this was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. Okay. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Okay, so so far it's the same as four. A precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Mm. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded and the Second European War was on. Hmm. Okay, so are we picking up like with game number two, basically? The this is Empire, neat. With its vast military superiority, struck hard. Gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation in defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, uh -oh. they found their next victim. Gallia has guy. long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. Heck yeah, you're the little guy, why wouldn't you? Under the Gallian soil, proved too tempting for the Empire. Mm. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Ooh. I'm intrigued. So are we going to be playing as a Galleon? Two arms. Okay, if you've never played these games before, uh, they come up as like little mini episodes and it's really fun to go back and like try to beat the episode again at it's like to add to the best of your ability like to get an A rank and stuff. There were a couple of them I finally got A ranks on. So this one is probably going to be the tutorial one. So this can kind of show you guys how the gameplay is going to go. We're going to view this episode and we're going to try this out. Let's go. I love the little countryside scenes. This is how uh, four starts too. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Okay. I love the art design for these Russians games. Are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. Trying to get away. That's awesome. Ooh, who are you guys? going in the wrong direction. You're the guy from the cover! Okay, so this is gonna be probably our protag. I haven't been down this road in years. I love that voice. It really hasn't changed very much. Sorry if that just got louder for you guys. <laughs> I had to turn up my headphones. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Oh, he's so cute. I like him. I like this guy. Oh, he's drawing the fish? That's neat. That's neat. Freeze. That's not Put neat. Your hands in the air. <laughs> Slowly. Horses from Brule. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are. 
the one with the gun. We're with the blue town watch. I like her. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <sighs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? <laughs> She's basically oh, saying, you think me, I I'm, think artist. I'm an idiot. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Oh, this poor guy. Uh, thanks, fish. <laughs> they just got him arrested. He was just minding his own business. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So we're still we're still actually in story mode. So we're not gonna actually fight anybody yet. So we're just still seeing the story unfold. Oh, I love it already though. He's very much an artist though. Bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Kakashi. Isn't that Kakashi Hatake? And I to take my time finding out for sure. Hold up. Well, I'm looking this up now. You? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, Unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> I apologize. But I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Welch has a real I'm trying to find for it. observing nature. That's why he's studying it. At it the is Kakashi. <laughs> I haven't seen so Naruto in I forget where I better am part of a decade. <laughs> might be watching me. And I remember that voice. Gunfire! Mm. Everyone, keep your heads down. Are we gonna get into action play now? Over there. <laughs> Imperials. Come on. That guy just got shot. <laughs> oh, they both know. Poor civilians. And poor your guy. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We hmm. should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Let's go. Okay, now we're actually gonna uh, play the game. I am going to save though real fast because I am the person who does not like to proceed if someone dies. I don't like doing that. So let's go ahead and start this fight. I am excited. Okay, here's the plan. You have to eliminate Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Okay, so this is the, the training round. Just cross the bridge and take them out. Uh, take them down as fast as you can. It's really easy. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies, so let's take care of them one uh take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Okay, so this is actually a really easy one. They say the only way you can lose is if Welkin dies or if Alicia dies. Or if 20 turns pass, this is probably one we'll be able to do in two turns or less. More than likely, unless there's like a secondary wave that comes in. So this will probably be uh, probably a max of about four turns. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. <laughs> I like you, Alicia. I like you, or Alicia, or however the heck you say your name. There's something I should explain. Command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. This is what makes this much more of a strategy game 
than uh, some others. Here you'll select the unit you'll like, you'd like to move based on their position respected to the enemy, then press the X button. Doing so, doing so uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions or control your units uh, per each player phase. In this battle, you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Okay, we've got three... Uh, okay, so we got three players. I'm trying to remember what these are called. Scouts. So they're all scouts. So I'm going to start with Welkin. About action points. Use CP to select a unit in command mode and you'll be plunged into action mode. That's what we're doing right now. Here you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents the unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. The best thing you can do is go hide behind one of these things, which is probably what it's about to tell me. Use the left stick to move the unit near the sandbags. Okay, so I'm going to kind of gauge here. We're going to do 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 I'm going to about attacking. Press the R1 bar uh, button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with the currently selected weapon. Use the left stick to move the crosshair the crosshairs onto an enemy, or the L1 and R1 buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing the X button to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode once, up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, they may launch a counterattack. That can be devastating. A damaged unit may not have the HP to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning your attack. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna crouch, and we're gonna go ahead and target. Here, let's do up a nice big head shot. Boom. So they'll automatically fire up to however many rounds that they normally can fire. How many of them hit is another ending or er, is another matter entirely. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press cancel to end their current action. This will return you to command mode where you'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press cancel and end a unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have AP. So like, yes. Welkin still has plenty of AP, but because he's still in danger and I don't see a nearby sandbag, I'm gonna go ahead and end the current action. Okay, so that's our next target, is that scout. But we have a long way before we can get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Alicia. And we're going to get her up here as well. She's got plenty of AP, wow. And we're just going to go ahead and crouch her. And I think, I don't think we've got enough to get any further. So I'm going to go ahead and end the current action. And I'm going to do something it tells you not to do, which is I'm going to end the phase early. Okay, so they're going to move in. Okay, he's moving to the other side of the bridge. And he's going to move in as well. Now this does pose a problem for us because there is no guard between us and them. Using CP effectively. When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of three CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines and or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That being said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. If you use the cancel button to end your phase with CP still remaining, those CP will be carried over to the next turn. That's why I did what I just did. So now instead of just three, we will have four. CP are our precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. 
Oh, excuse me. I'm going to start with Welkin. We're going to stand him. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to stand. Can we go ahead and fire from this distance? No, we cannot. I need to move him. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and see if we can... Yep. There we go. Nice. And I'm actually going to continue to move Welkin. About using cover. Those are the nearest covers that we have. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press the X button to take cover behind them. While hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your actions safely hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Galia. See, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the turn. And I'm going to move him again. So now he can fire. So he's going to attack. Put it right there. There we go. So now he's still got... Oh, that's the whole operation. Cool. That's all we needed to do. Yay. I don't see any more of them. Okay, that was a B rank. I told you it was only going to take like two turns to do, unless the second wave came. Yay, new episodes! And they just automatically load up as you finish stuff. We could go back and redo that and say, okay, we can do this in one, or whatever. Which it probably could have done, but we're not going to worry about that. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Hmm. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. Sad day. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. I like you. You're a sweet little girl. You're a sweet lady. I like you. Now I'm curious what the crap is going on with that. Are, are those dandelions? What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white. Small, that was close. simple, and strong. It's very close. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life hmm on the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935 the empire began its assault in earnest hmm. a formal declaration of war was made upon gallia though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. Hmm. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. Oh, I'm a sucker! What I'm such a sucker. The record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Okay, I'm I, I have a feeling this game is going to break my heart and I love it already. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, chapter 1. Oop. I hit, I hit a button. That's okay. We are going to go ahead and save once more. Yep. Save over the prologue. That's fine. Yep. Save data. Wow. I love this game already. Yep. Let's keep going, honestly. We can do at least a couple more watchings and viewings, I guess, of, of certain chapter pieces. 
I love the scenery in this game. It's so pretty. This the, the whole game is just so pretty. And the stories are so good. I really hope like the storylines of this game are as good as they are in, in four. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about mm. this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I, I like her outfit, help. too. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> oh, that little smile! I love it! Oh, that's so sweet. You can, you can already see, like, the wheels are turning in the brain. <laughs> oh, I love this. How's the packing coming along, East? East? Oh. Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Who's Martha? Oh, welcome back, Welkies. <laughs> Welkies? <laughs> she looks like a housekeeper. Please tell me she's... You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. Oh, wow, he's younger than I am. I'm 23. And more important, <laughs> you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? She does look pregnant. Uh, a light dog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've little spud. <laughs> Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Yep, she, she's already fallen for him. Already, oh, guarantee it. Hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? Aww. I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. Aww. That's, That's nice. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. That's usually an alarming thing in Japanese-made games. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Oh, I'm already so into the story. Already. I love it. Arrested and... <laughs> <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good oh. job, Welkies. What? Wait, no. <laughs> Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. No, I actually like that. I'm not his girlfriend, I'm Although just his hero. I'm really hoping to be his friend. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Oh. Well, I'm sure you... <laughs> She's already calling it. Martha's already know Martha knows. She's had four kids. She knows. Okay, seriously, Martha. Enough with the Welkies already. <laughs> That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. That's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The general's tank was his creation. Wait. Wait a minute. But I thought the general was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. Oh. The general was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. I was wondering why they looked different. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. No, oh, I love stories with that already. Ah, I love this game. I love this game. No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Aww. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Come on. Why don't you see her off, Well, I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Did they say where Isara was going? Is she going inland? 
That actually kind of hurt. I hit, I hit my, uh, the, the knob of my ankle on the desk. Let's keep going. I really like this story so much. I love the art. I love the art in Ford. It's just, ah. Look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. I love the anime cutscenes. They're so good. I can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The town watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you going to join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. Hmm. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Aww. I like that. A teacher? Yeah. I was actually going to be a teacher. Animals and insects, flowers Fun facts. and plants. They've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general. But it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way. My own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's deep in your own way. Hmm. 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 Ah! <sighs> what was that? Let's find out. I feel like we're about that to sound. Bombs. Oh gosh, that's a grenadier. Oh, yes. Big anime cuts. Oh, no! The guy's falling off the tower! Oh, no! Off the windmill! Run away! Oh, goodness. And here come more Imperials. Ah, uh, this makes me sad. This makes me so sad. Come on, welcome. We gotta do something, buddy. Come on, welcome. Let's jump in. And let's attack. Let's beat the crap out of these guys. Believe it. The mill. After they just got it running again, he's yet. Ah. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Let's go. Let's go beat them up. All the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. Come on. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. One more brawl. Let's go. Come on, come on. So something I mission. didn't mention about the Sunday fun days, they're gonna be a little longer, so they're gonna be between, uh, depending on the game, if it's a longer game, it'll be between 45 minutes and an hour rather than a half hour episode. If it's a shorter game though, it'll be between 30 and 45 minutes, just like a regular Pokemon episode would be. Okay. The enemy has invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind sandbags to cover your, as, you, as you advance toward the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. This is a defeat the commander. Yes! I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful. There may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Same issues before uh it fail we will fail if welkin dies or if alicia dies or if 20 turns pass okay, let's begin it's up to us to defend rule okay more than likely this will again be something pretty easy probably a five turn round our target is the imperials in mill plaza focus on taking down their captain breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Let's go. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. About damage. A set amount of damage of the damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. Um, it'll probably pop up later, 
But in 4, there is a thing called help, where if another unit comes to a fallen... So, like, say, Welkin is down at 0 HP, and I send Alicia, and Alicia walks up next to him, she can call for help and have him evacuated. But I have a feeling that's not going to be a thing just yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and move him here. I'm going to crouch. About sight lines, when, enemy, uh, when a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her head. <clears throat> that line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning the line's point. That line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. We're going to go ahead and crouch. And we're going to... About attacking enemies, pressing L1 or R1 buttons while in target mode will automatically lock on the next enemy within firing range. The crosshairs return red when a unit aim when a unit aiming at an enemy has a clear line of sight on their target. Use the guidelines that extends from the gun when firing near obstacles to see if they are blocking the shot. If that line is interrupted, it means the unit's attacks will be blocked. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, the attacking unit's weapon specifications appear at the top of the screen. That shows damage against human targets versus armor. Shows damage against tanks and armor. The symbol will indicate the effectiveness against different types of targets. Uh, the O indicates the weapon is effective against that type of target. It's only slight damage. Ineffective against the type of target. Ah! I, I actually didn't know that. No wonder I had so many issues in 4. <laughs> I was probably using stuff that didn't work. Area shows whether the attack will damage a broad area or shot, or a broad area and shots show the number of rounds fired per each attack. To kill is the number of shots needed to connect in order to defeat the target. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit to defeat the enemy unit. This number only takes shots that hit the center of the crosshairs into account. Misses or hits to other areas of the target will not, are not taken into account to this number. This provides an estimate you can use when selecting a target and can be used to line up headshots and critical attacks. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit this guy right here. Boop. Okay, that was bad then. So Welkin did get hit and he got hit a few times. So we're just going to end the current action. He's just going to chill right there. I'm going to send in Alicia next. My turn, okay? Let's go. Let's go, girly. Whop. Now, here's something that we're gonna do that is a little different. Boop. Oh, it's not gonna do uh, double attacks yet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and end the action. I could have moved her and I probably should have, but we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and move Welkin. And I'm gonna move him on purpose. Oh, oh no! Okay, I, I about hit the wrong thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and boop. And we're gonna fire right here. Okay, we're not gonna be able to do a headshot then. And it work. Okay, so we're just gonna line up. This scout is pretty good. Okay, and now we are going to end our phase. Okay, and that's gonna end our turn entirely. Yep. Okay. They have five. That's not good. That's one good thing, though, is since Welkin's so far ahead, he can actually start firing early, like, as they move. It's great. And then he can retaliate. And look, he's nearly almost killed him already. So if that guy moves again, he's a goner. And this guy even, too. He might be a goner as well. Though I don't think Welkin's actually going to fire. Oh, oh, he is. Oh, one more shot and he would have killed him. Okay, we got a guy coming in the back. He's gonna fire a Welkin. Jeez, Welkin's taking a lot of damage. Okay, and he's almost killed that scout. Oh, and the scout hit again. That's smart. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and move her. Let's get Alicia moved. And I'm gonna move her over here by Welkin. And we're gonna go ahead yeah, let's go ahead and get this one. Just boop. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and the current action. We're going to now move over to Welkin. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and fire now. 
Boop. Kill him. And I'm gonna move Welkin. So stand. And we're gonna move. And yes, I'm going to move all the way up here. Enemy Boop. And we're gonna end the turn. So now I've got him in my sights. I can go ahead and move Alicia. Turn, okay? Sorry. I keep hitting the wrong button. And I think that's different for Switch to PS4. Okay, and one shot should kill. Nice. Now, I can go ahead and move her even further, but I guess she'll make that. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and send her. This might be a disaster. Enemy unit okay, so they definitely spotted her. Okay, so we should be good. And the current phase. Let's go. Ooh, we got two more. And we have to find the commander, and I'm not sure which one it is. Holy crap! There's a scout there. He's just missing like crazy. Awesome. Fine by me. Attack! There you go. Knocked about half of his HP down. So if he attacks her again, he's probably dead. This guy, though. Yeah, he missed all of his shots. Oh, one more, and he could. she could have killed him. Oh, goodness. There you go! Nice one, Alicia! And I always loved... Oh, that was the commander! That's operation complete. Okay, cool! That was what? Two turns? For us? What's that? Oh, no. Sounds like a tank. Oh, we got our first tank in the game. We got our first tank in the game. The main character from 4 actually drives the tank. So, or it, it, it rides the tank, I should say. He fires the tank. Like the, the, the guns for the tank. He's the, the commander. Oh my gosh. Oh no, don't kill my guys. Tank. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. I love this game already. I love it so much. This is my style of game. Because it's a turn base, but not a full blown turn base. And it's a shooter. It's an active shooter game. But it's not like your standard active shooter. Now, things have changed. Welkin is still trucking, hiding back here. Now, she's not going to do anything against the tank. And that's something that we got to figure out. Is how in the world are we going to fight this tank? Uh oh. Watch out! Okay, that hurt both Welkin and the uh, townsman there. That's not good, that's not good. That tank's gonna do a lot of damage. Come on, fire! Okay, they actually are hitting it. Good. So you see that, that nice big glowy thing there? On the back of the tank? That's the weak spot. Welkin, tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. Yeah, no, no kidding. I hate to say it. But we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. Hmm. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, Welkin needs to reach the destination. Where is the destination? The destination is all the way over here? Oh my goodness. This is not going to end well. Okay. Oh, but we're completely healed up. And they moved us, which is good. So let's go ahead Here and we move go. Welkin. Okay. We have to stay undercover. I'm trying to figure out the best course of action here. Does this... Like, give me the map. That doesn't help me. I don't like this. I don't like this. How's this targeting from that far? Not good enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fire. That literally hit one time. Okay. We're gonna try going this way then. Nope. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh. So fun. Let's go this way. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, crap. I'm, I hit the, the wrong place. Crouch. 
Okay. In the current action. I'm not used to running out of room. <laughs> okay, so he's almost there already. I think he can make it. Considering how far he just... I think he can make it. Go. I just have to be mindful of where he is. Let's go. Come on! Freaking Welkin. Okay, he, he's already almost dead. So I have to be very careful. Go, 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 go. Whew! That was very dangerous. <laughs> Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Okay, we bet we be ranked that, which is not bad. Especially considering I've never played this particular game before. Okay, we are going to... Oh, that's it. Escape from Brule. So we've already made it through technically two chapters because we watched uh, Prologue and Chapter 1. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's brand new series. I really enjoy these games already. So we're going to try this out, see how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for games you would want to see on Sunday Fun Days and things like that, just let me know uh, in the comments down below. So we'll be playing games much more like this, a uh, bunch of PS4 games, Switch games. We might have the occasional um, like Game Boy Advance game that's not a standard Pokemon game. Uh, Pokemon will be continuing on Mondays and Thursdays as normal and whenever Fire Emblem uh, releases here at the end of July, we will be doing that. I don't know the set schedule for that yet. It entirely depends on how many episodes I can be, I can film and all that good stuff. But more than likely, that will be a Tuesday, Friday series, more than likely. But I will give you a definitive answer when we get closer. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!